HD audio or AC97 connector, which to use when, and what's the difference? I'm currently setting up an older system in a new case, I'll be upgrading it in stages, and the old parts then go back into the old case, P, and I'm having a bit of confusion over which cable to use, and what the difference is. What's the difference between these cables, and when do I know what to use? In my case the sound chip is a ALK888 but I'm more interested in a generic, all-purpose answer, rather than one specific to this. The header on the system itself is marked audio. If more specific information is needed, I've put the motherboard from a Dell 530 into a Cosair Graphite 600T, just to test the case pending the rest of my hardware. The correct one to use depends on your case. Those cables are typically used to connect front panel headphone slash microphone ports. While the connectors may look identical, the pinouts are different and not really interchangeable. The matching connector on your case should be labeled accordingly. I know mine is labeled HD Audio. HD Audio is intended to replace AC97. HD Audio is generally more capable. The linked articles have more detail on that. For average home use, there shouldn't really be a noticeable difference. The rest of this answer will be referencing the Intel Front Panel I.O. Connectivity Design Guide, page 19. They also have schematics on pages 20 and 25 if you care. I will be adding emphasis. Front Panel Audio Design in conjunction with Motherboard Audio Header Design is depending upon the type of audio codec being used on the motherboard. In the past, AC97 integrated audio codecs were prevalent. With the introduction of Intel High Definition Audio, many new motherboard designs are switching over to High Definition HD audio codecs. Designers should note that AC97 and Intel High Definition Audio front panel motherboards and I.O. cards implementations are different and may not be directly compatible or interchangeable. Some sources indicate that it is slash may be necessary to switch audio output modes in the BIOS configuration or with a jumper. It is recommended that you look at your motherboard manual. My own motherboard, CP67AC45, manual just says it's compliant with the Intel front panel IO connectivity design guide, not all that much information. Dell manuals describe it as, front audio, F underscore audio, and don't indicate any such jumper, and only describe the BIOS option onboard audio controller, as, enabled or disabled, enabled by default. Passive AC97 analog front panel dongles, ones which leave the 5V analog pin 7 line unconnected on the dongle, may be used with the Intel HD audio analog front panel header. But note that the front panel jack detection and retasking functionality will be lost as the AC97 jacks cannot support connection to the sense line. In addition, software must be aware that an AC97 dongle is being used with an Intel HD audio analog header since the software might need to dedicate codec ports that are connected to the header to meet the product's intended functionality. AC97 and HD audio refer to Intel standards for onboard audio. A minor part of those standards is a front panel audio connector. However the connectors are only semi-compatible. In particular the handling of plugging in a front panel devices is different. On AC97 audio to the rear audio output was looped by the front audio output and plugging in a device to the front panel audio output would electrically disconnect the rear audio output from the audio source. If you wanted to use an AC97 motherboard without front panel audio it was necessary to put jumpers on the audio header to make the rear audio output work. On the audio to the front and rear outputs comes from separate outputs on the audio codec. 
The pins that were previously used to loop back audio from the front are repurposed as connector detect pins. It is up to software whether to disable the rear panel audio output when a connector is plugged into the front panel output. So if you plug a front panel into an AC97 motherboard you will get no output on the rear audio output. Most users aren't going to find that acceptable. If you plug an AC97 front panel into a motherboard then plug-in detection will not work correctly. It may detect devices as not present when they are present and vice versa and the exact results may depend on what audio is playing. On some motherboards it may be possible to disable the plug-in detection so they can work better, though still not perfectly, with an AC97 front panel. Your particular front panel looks to me like it is primarily designed for HD audio motherboards but with a hack to give limited support for AC97 boards. There are loops of wire on the AC97 connectors which will make the rear output work but it won't be switched by the front panel connectors like it would be with a proper AC97 front panel. Intel introduced it back in 2004 though both AC97 and HIL were supported in parallel for a time but anything even remotely modern should be the According to its data sheet the ALK888 is as a chip. I would suggest trying the HT audio connector first, if the rear audio output on your motherboard doesn't work try using the AC97 connector instead. I have completed a modification to my 97 female plug by fitting a pin slash socket to socket 4 position for the 1K resistor to ground, and fitting the 2 pole switch to the front panel cutting the 2 FP return wires at the jack sockets and connecting them to the contacts of the switch. The FP wires are left connected to pin 6 and 10 at the plug. Provided a 5 volt DC cable to the poles on the switch from the motherboard. See PDF here. I'm not sure of the exact difference, I assume that HD audio will give better audio quality, but I'll always go for HD audio if the mainboard has it, if the mainboard only has AC97 then I'll use AC97 connector. BTW, the HD audio connector can be used with AC97 as well. In case your case only has HD connector but your board only has AC97. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.